guys, this is Vimeo91, and I'm talking about the Nintendo 64 expansion on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm not going to berate it and stuff. Yes, the overview trailer, I think it's like the most disliked video on Nintendo's channel, but I'm not going to down it because I do like the fact that they're bringing N64 games to the Switch. See, I think people are already off when they announced the price because it's more expensive than, pay, than actually the online membership by itself is. But then it came out, and some people, I watched Bonnery's video, seemed to notice problems. And one of them was like input lag, at least he said for Ocarina of Time, I believe, which is bad. I'm not going to go into all the details about the problems. I'll link Spawnway's video in the description below for more details. But this is just what I'm saying. I really think they probably should have done this like they did with the original Nintendo Switch Online. Remember when they brought out the Switch and Online was just free? Because it, I don't think Online was where they wanted it to be yet. And then when they got it where I guess they wanted it to be, they started charging people. That makes more sense to me. See... I think if they had released this like that and people could just play and then they they probably would have still had these problems, right? But then people would be like, oh, well, you know, it's free. So so I think people would have been more understanding because they've been like, okay, they brought it out free. They're working on it. And then, you know, later when you pay for it, yeah, people would still been mad. Just like I think some people were mad when they had to pay for Nintendo Switch online if they wanted to continue playing their games online. But I think people would have been more understanding because... If you release this product and then it's free at first while you're trying to fix out all the kinks, then when you fix out a good amount of the kinks, you release it and you actually start charging. I think that would have probably been better. Like maybe they could have started charging when they brought out the other games. Remember the games that they said that weren't coming when it launched but were coming later? Maybe that's when they could have started charging and hopefully by then they would have fixed most of the kinks at least. But as it is now, see, when you bring out a product and you charge immediately, I think it needs to be in a better state than what I heard and saw in Spawnway's video at least. So hopefully Nintendo will be at this pretty quickly and they'll fix the input lag especially. And other stuff that people didn't like about the Nintendo 64 expansion. But what do you guys think about the Nintendo 64 expansion? Are you dealing with some of these problems? At least that I saw like what Spawnway said. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.